is Kids Can Change the World. In today's eTalk, I'm going to discuss about the numerous environmental issues that we are facing today and how, as the youth and the future generation of this planet, we can use our voices and our actions to make a difference in order to protect our future and the future of our planet. Together, as kids, we can lead the way and make changes that will positively impact our environment. Global warming, climate change, and air pollution are the most important current global issues that destroy millions of lives all around the world. Some effects of these issues are frequent forest fires in places such as California, melting glaciers in Alaska, and frequent and recurrent hurricanes and floodings in Texas. And these are just a few examples. Another huge issue that we are facing today is pollution. Excessive pollution contaminates the air, water, and the land, which harms humans, animals, plants, and the planet. So the question is, how can we make the change? One way that we can help to solve all these environmental issues that we are facing is through the three R's. The three R's are reduce, reuse, and recycle. The first R is recycle. There are many activities you can do for recycling, and I want to share my experience and what I did. When I was in second grade, during the Christmas holiday time, I tried to throw my remote controlled toys batteries in the trash, but then my parents told me not to throw it in the trash and instead keep it separate so that we can recycle them later. I then did research and found out that batteries have chemicals in them, and when we throw them away, they go to the landfill and contaminate the ground and the water. They can also create fires and cause air pollution. After that, I started battery recycling in my home and collected 12 batteries in one month from my household only. I then decided to spread this activity to my school and collected 300 batteries in one month. I then took it a step further and spread the activity to my community libraries and recreation centers and collected over 1,300 batteries in one month. After two years, I collected and recycled over 65,000 batteries. I presented the success of my project in the city council meeting and asked the city to continue my battery recycling project. With this initiated project, I helped to pre prevent thousands of batteries from going to the landfill, which helps to save the planet. The second R is reuse. One way that I have reused materials for a better purpose is through my fourth grade Kindness Matters project. In this project, I reused old blankets and pillow fillings from my house and my community to make beds for dogs and cats in the animal shelter. Even after six years, I am still continuing to donate to these, these animal beds to the animal shelter every Thanksgiving break. This helps to reduce the amount of trash going into the landfill and at the same time, it helps to provide animals with nice beds for the winter. The third R is reduce. One way that you can help preserve materials and help stop global warming, pollution, and deforestation is through reduced paper usage. This is a project I did where I encouraged kids to reduce the amount of hand paper towels they use in order to help reduce the number of trees being cut down and manufactured, which helps decrease air pollution and reduce the amount of pollution caused by paper towels. Volunteering is a fun activity that you can do with your friends and family to keep our planet safe. There are so many volunteering activities available everywhere, and some examples are tree planting, lake and park cleanups, adopt a spot, tree giveaways, and so many others. These simple activities we do daily will help to save our planet. Social media allows us to communicate and spread information with millions of people all around the world. I created an environmental educational YouTube channel called eTalk, which informs others on environmental issues, the importance of saving the community and the planet, and how we can accomplish this. One way that we can use our voices to raise awareness is to write about it. I wrote a book called One Earth, The Pollution Solution, and by writing this book, 
I helped encourage those who read this book to help preserve our planet Earth and also inform them about the many environmental issues that we are facing and how we can solve them. Thank you!